Hello, a new day, a new project. As you may see, beautiful weather today, plenty of sunshine, so I'm ready to start uh, harvesting the solar power. But uh, what I want to do today is to measure the input to my uh, on grid solar inverter because I'm pretty concerned about the transfer line, and the power from the panels to the grid. So now I'm gonna have a power meter, an energy meter in between the solar panels and the inverter and uh, after a couple of hours I'll have a perfect idea about what's happening over there. Yes, yeah, so the temperature outside it's around 2 degrees. It will be a perfect day for solar panels. Here is the connection from the solar panels down to the inverter and in between I'm gonna have this energy meter it's a PZM 015 so I'm gonna have a very clear idea about the power in and out this one it's able to have to pass 50 amps of uh, current so there is no problem handing uh, around 24 25 like I'm gonna have from the panels okay so let's put it on okay so we already have power on here we have 44.1 volts already strong wires over here so the power transfer is not a problem why I'm doing this because I'm concerned about the rendement of this machine I want to have a clear idea about how much power it's getting you can see how to reset all these commands in a tutorial I had before you have the link up there on the right corner okay here we are so everything gets on zero now here 44.5 volts in and now it's time to connect the inverter We already have power and 16, 17, 180 milliamps. But the inverter is working, it's on, and we have like 40 watts of power going out. Well, the sun is not exactly on the panels but it will be soon so what I have to do now is to be sure that I'm gonna have enough power in the house I'm gonna have an extra heater or something to to have it busy you know because this is a inverter with limiter this is the power now I'm using in the house one kilowatt so let's say if this one goes down to 200 watts then the general power over here when the sun will be up it's going down to 200 kilo uh, to 200 watts so I'm wasting a lot of solar power because the house itself doesn't have a consume or enough consume uh, today I'm gonna push it to the limits so I'm gonna have an extra charge I'm gonna have a heater running with uh, at least one kilowatt per hour so this one will work at the upper limits then we have a very clear idea about how much power gets in from the solar panels and how much power goes out to the grid okay so now it's uh, around uh, 20 to 10 20 minutes to 10 so I'll be back so uh, finally it's 12 minutes past 10 and I have full sunshine in the panels These panels are 950 watts 
Of course, I'm not expecting this power because I know this is a lab controlled uh, environment power measurement. So it's not uh, what's happening on the field in real life. But for now, I can say that the inverter it's delivering 632 watts that's the output the the power going to the grid so I'm gonna have it uh, really charged if I may say uh, because uh, I'm gonna have this heater all the time connected so that means at least 1000 watts per hour of consumption and that's to be sure that the inverter is running on full power or let's say how much it can deliver from the panel to the grid and uh, I'm waiting for a couple of hours to see the results So let me say the first uh, consideration after 42 minutes of running. So we have there, we have there 745 watts around in the inverter. So outside we have 638. That's the in and that's the out. Almost 100 and something of watts difference. 20 amps in 35.9 volts in over there and 34.6 here on the display and now I have a total consumption in the house of 700 watts and 600 so 1.3 kilowatts or something anyway so I'll let the things running for a while okay so I have a uh, 950 watts of panels that's delivering now in uh, in full sunshine and almost perfect orientation looks there and uh, outside it's pretty cold also so now it delivers easily 750 watts okay so we have 750 let's say from the panel PV and that turns to be like 640 watts uh, inverter inverter output and now let's let's calculate this uh, so we have 640 divided by 750 so that, that gives a, a random and 85 and that's pretty okay uh, the machine advertised maximum 95 percent conversion but let's wait at the final results so here we are middle of the day supposedly maximum power 780 let's say watts into the inverter a current of 22.8 amps so I think this is the maximum the panels can deliver outside it's still cold let me see so we have 6 degrees that's a perfect weather for the panels so again 788 790 watts okay and the inverter is delivering 678 watts output power less than two hours we had like 1.2 kilowatts already so I almost reach a point of 700 watts over there you see the you see the graphic yeah so I'm really glad about this Seven hundred and eighty-four. Oh, it's a pretty good number. And I have to wait the end of the day. And there it is, my assistant, Mr. Tommy the Cat. 
thank you same story here 781 watts and 672 output middle of the day let's check some panel temperature so we have 40 degrees Celsius or 105 Fahrenheit 35 on this one 97 Fahrenheit okay 39 36 let me check the currents here 7.21 amps this one and 7.49 oh 7.41 7.43 they are working the same what about this one here 8.152 so I got this one with 7 6 8 4 yeah they are the same yes it's almost 2 o'clock let's see what we still got here so the panels are running with 580 watts we already gain 2.86 kilowatts from the solar panel this is the power from the solar panel in 4 hours and 15 minutes 82.2 amps and let's see the inverter so this one delivers now 493 watts to the grid like I said before I kept the inverter very busy today so there was always a extra charge and these are the results for two o'clock okay so here we are at the end of the sunny day I may say four o'clock in the afternoon so the Sun is gone so uh, we have a harvest of 3.23 kilowatts of uh, solar power so we have uh, 3.3 kilowatts from the solar panel and we gain around 2.76 kilowatts out from the inverter these are the numbers for today okay so here we have some final results so we got the time here we got the income uh, harvested energy that's the solar panels in over here then I have the instant solar panels power and then the instant inverter output power and that's the export AC the final export AC but here is the Sun situation and of course efficiency okay let me start with temperature first of all it was between 2 degrees and 6 degrees in the afternoon so it was a pretty cold day I may say so I got here at 9 o'clock the Sun was up almost up and I uh, connect the energy meter and it was only uh, 48 watts from the solar panel in the power outside was 40 watts so we have a 83 percent efficiency 1022 full sunshine already gain in uh, 42 minutes let's say already gain 200 watts hour that's the income the energy from the Sun already in 42 minutes we have a instant power of 743 and an instant inverter output of 638 watts and we have a 85 percent efficiency 12 o'clock in the noon 1.5 kilowatts hour already in 785 watts 
instant power. That's kind of peak of the solar panel power. 679, 680 instant power out, 86% efficiency. Two o'clock, we have 2.86 kilowatts hour in. Instant power, solar power in, 582 watts. And 495 watts instant inverter output, 85% efficiency. Four o'clock, the sun was out. And finally, we had the, uh, let's call it the deposit of 3.23 kilowatts hour. That was the solar production from the panels into the inverter. Brutal. Okay, so the inverter turns that in 2.76 kilowatts hour of AC to the grid. That turns like 85% efficiency. This uh, Sun GTL2 with limiter have a 85% efficiency. Now, a few remarks about the solar panels and their real life. You see, I have a 950 watts hour panels. Finally turns to be like 785. So we have an efficiency of 82%. It should be 950 under very special conditions. This is real life. This is really, if we have uh, 1000 watts hour solar panels, be sure that you'll gain around 820, 850 if you're lucky, watts of solar power. Maybe, maybe, let's say maybe in a very cold winter, sunny day, we can get more. It's more efficient in a very cold days, but pretty sunny, you know. Okay. So finally, we got some loses here. First of all, I have here 18% losing from the efficiency of the solar panels, plus a medium 15% losing from the inverter itself, from the inversion process. So finally, I may say with this kind of inverter, it's a Sun GTIL2 with limiter, 1000 watts power I can say for sure that we have if we have 100 if we have 1000 watts our solar panels finally we're gonna have an export of around 670 watts hour so this is the results this is really life this is statistics for months of uh, fully used and uh, this is how my install be. Some other people they are saying this kind of inverters have a kind of 65% efficiency. Well, it's almost there. So 1000 watts of solar panel turns to 670 watts of power. So it's like 76% efficiency. That's it. This is real life. Thank you for watching. I really hope this is uh, useful because I was searching for all kinds of data like this. But now you have my results and these are truly real life results. Thank you for now. I'll be back soon with some other projects. Don't forget to have fun and bye bye.